there is a message from National Treasures. Please check it. What are those two round turquoise objects? Eyes? If so, whose? Those of a tiger, perhaps. Or maybe what we're looking at is a mosaic dragon staring out across a gulf of three and a half thousand years. Whatever the answer, it has a question of its own. Who exactly are you? Made up of more than 300 pieces of turquoise, no more than two millimeters thick, only an advanced culture could have produced it. What's more, even after the passage of almost a millennia, each individual piece remains as smooth and firm as the day it was made. But interpreting it is especially challenging. Made before writing emerged in East Asia, the message this silent witness has for us is double mystifying. Little can be said for certain. Discovered in Ar Lee To in Huanan province, excavations here have revealed that this was once the site of a great city, perhaps home to tens of thousands of people. It was also a hub of what was then a cutting edge industry, bronze casting. Could this be the capital of China's first recorded dynasty, the Shah? Bronze casting emerged in the Middle East and Central Asia spreading first to northwestern China and then to the Longshan culture of the Central Plains. What distinguishes the bronze work of the Ar Li To culture is its size. Whilst earlier prehistoric bronze-making cultures confined themselves to small items, the Ar Li To culture pioneered the production of bigger and better bronzeware. More than 200 bronze artifacts have been found at Ar Li To. This jue, a kind of goblet, is the earliest decorated ritual drinking vessel discovered in East Asia. Its spout, handle, and three feet look like they were made of clay. They're actually bronze, then a brand new material. It's this mastery of bronze making techniques and the ability to combine it with other materials that make the Arli Toe culture unique. So, one of the significances of this treasure is that it represents the marriage of two materials, bronze inlaid with precious turquoise, bringing the Bronze Age in East Asia to new heights of sophistication. But regardless of the innovative combination of the two materials, the skillful, cunning grinding of the turquoise pieces into the variety of shapes used in the final composition and their exquisite polishing is a triumph of craftsmanship in itself. The scales of this seven centimeter long dragon are 2,000 turquoise pieces, and the eyes are made of white jade. Staring blankly upwards, it's difficult not to conclude that there's a connection between this mythical creature and the heavens above. That's likely discovered in a tomb, partially covering the occupant's skeleton, alongside a bronze bell and a jade clamper. The chances are it played a role in a ritual of some sort. That might also help explain the dragon's eyes, ever alive and sparkling, piercing the dark of the tomb, a link between the deceased, his ancestors, and the here and now. And these very same eyes have been seen elsewhere, in faraway Tian Shui in Gansu province, in Shanxing Dui in Sichuan province, but they have been found in places so far apart is significant. 3,000 years ago, people from all across the vastness of China were communicating, sowing the seeds of a common culture. It cannot speak. Its gaze is impossible to read, but it's a silence that speaks volumes, a pair of eyes that saw the very beginning, that witnessed the very first Chinese dynasty, eyes that as a new era dawns are watching still.